right now we are joined on the phone with Jeff Price, who is an expert on aviation and security. Jeff, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I think a lot of our viewers have questions following what we've seen happen in Brussels, Belgium this morning. And the first thing that comes to mind is the chances of this happening here in the U.S. So what can you tell us? Well, certainly the, uh, the chances this could happen anywhere, uh, there's always that possibility. The uh, chances of happening in the U.S. right now, there's not been a, a terror alert issued. Uh, this isn't to say something could happen any place, anywhere, any time. Uh, but it's not something that people should should uh, be fearing. Go to the airport, continue on your travels. Uh, this is something that uh, is a localized situation right now. And our intelligence networks and agencies and law enforcement agencies already taking steps to, to see if there's uh, anything that would be possibly happening somewhere else. Uh, like here in the United States. Jeff, this is uh, Mitch Jelnicker. A question for you as we're looking at video inside the Brussels airport. It, it will appear to be, and we're hearing reports, this was kind of a waiting area. Given that, what can airports do to really prevent this kind of thing from happening since it's in that what would what might call a soft target area? Exactly right, Mitch. This is an area that it's pre-security. Everybody's been there where you're either waiting in line or you're at the, uh, for the security checkpoint, or you're waiting at the ticket counter. Some people have suggested you should just move screening, but all that really does is relocate the, where the, the crowds are going to be. The, the real solutions in this area are deployed law enforcement assets throughout the area. Uh, people want to, want to do something like this, want to be successful, and the presence of law enforcement reduces their chances of being successful. Obviously, it never eliminates it, but deployed law enforcement, deployed security, uh, an aware public, all of this will reduce the chances of happening at, at your airport. Yeah, and everyone, when we watch stuff like this, everyone is on edge. And you just mentioned a few things, but what can people do just to stay safe and, and keep their minds at ease in situations and times like this? Just have a healthy sense of awareness. It, you don't have to be in a, in, a, in a state of paranoia or in a, a state of fear. In, in fact, those, those, those states of mind will reduce your awareness. Have a healthy awareness of what's going on around you. If something doesn't feel right, typically something's not right, and start paying attention to what could be in your environment that could be a threat. If you see something that, that you don't like, move away from that area and notify law enforcement. All right, Jeff Price, thank you again.